everybody, it's Willow Moon here, and we are going to talk about something exciting today. We're going to talk about UFOs. Um, there's a lot of new talk about UFOs, and uh, we're going to do some investigating about that. So, stay tuned, and we will be right back to start our investigation. So what do you think it is about aliens and UFOs that fascinates us all? Um, is it because of all the movies or the mystery of it? Or is it just that we're fascinated with the unknown? Well, probably a little bit of all of those. Um, we're going to look at some ancient uh, alien depictions in uh, very old artwork and you know it's subjective maybe they are aliens maybe they're angels maybe they're you know artists interpretation of you know God there's no telling we can't go back and ask them but what we can do is take a uh, look at them and see what we think there's different opinions on, on both sides. Uh, you can be the judge and decide whether, you know, you think aliens vid visited us in ancient times and progressed our species, or if they're out to, you know, kill us all and take over our planet if they if they're if that's their goal then they're a couple centuries too late because we've already screwed it up pretty good anyway it's time for you to judge the Annunciation with Saint Demetrius 1486 by Carlo Crivelli was uh, created by this artist in the Italian Renaissance um, when art was very symbolic. Everything was a symbol in these in these art pieces in that era. Uh, this painting was supposed to re represent um, God giving the Virgin Mary the baby Jesus. Uh, as you can see in the upper left corner of this painting, there is a saucer shaped object that is beaming down a light beam onto the mother Mary, giving her baby Jesus. Is that shape a UFO? Some people think so. Uh, others, historians, believe that that is angels blessing the situation. If you look closely, you can see little faces in the circle, or in the, uh, the object. So, are they angels? faces or aliens only Crivelli knows also you can see that the light that is beaming down it's beaming down to her head I would think that if you were you know giving her a seed it would be aiming towards her belly but that's just my opinion, and it's artist interpretation. I guess that's where he thought baby Jesus came from, her head. Um, I know it is all the artist interpretation, but it is something to think about. Also, I am told that that Mary got... A lot, a lot of ridiculing 
over, you know, being a virgin and having a baby. Well, you know, I can imagine that, that people would be like, yeah, right. Uh, so the conception would have been very hush-hush, I would think. Or else everybody would be, be like, oh, yeah, I accept that. Yeah, no, no problem. But there's a guy in the middle of the picture who is looking up at this light and and shading his eyes as if he's seeing something bright up there. Well, if it's such a secret, why is he privy to this secret? Who can tell? Anyway, um, in, in my humble opinion, and as an artist myself, I tend to draw from my experiences what I put in my my work and I'm sure that Crivelli also probably did some of that now maybe he put that um, angel or alien thing up there because it's something he might have seen and that's how he interpreted it but didn't want to say oh yeah you know I saw some aliens you know in that day and time, you were, you know, they'd have locked you away and thrown away the key. So if he saw something like that, he could have kind of twisted it into saying that it was angels when he really just wanted to represent something he'd seen. Or that's just how he envisioned a chorus of angels. Uh, the only one that can tell us that is Crivelli, and unless you have a seance and ask him, I'm not so sure you're going to ever find that out, or we will never find that out. Um, below, I will leave the links to this picture and any other pictures that we talk about in this video. So, on to the next one. Okay, here we have the Baptism of Christ by Eret de Gelder, who was Rembrandt's last student. And, well, I don't know. I think this one speaks for itself. It's a, it looks like a disc in the sky, or could it be the opening up of the heavens to shine light upon this baptism? I don't know. You be the judge of that. Um, I kind of like to think it's, you know, an alien's blessing this circumstance. Anyway, on to the show, on with the rest of the show. Please remember that I'm kind of a noob at this and my videos are a little choppy, but don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. I got this. So, I know as we get older, we tend to become more sedentary. And um, I don't know if I had mentioned this before, probably not, but one of my passions is photography. I like to you know, take pictures of things from different perspectives, kind of out of the box kind of look at things. So what I would like to do is challenge everyone to get up off their chair or whatever it is they are sitting upon and um, look at life from different perspectives you know, ones you wouldn't normally look at life. So here's my challenge for this episodic adventure. I want you to go find something in your life that looks alien and take a picture of it with your phone, your camera, whatever, and um, submit it down in the comments down below. And I will, I will also do that and we will look at all the pictures and we'll see what 
looks great and what's, you know, okay. Um, but try to look outside the box and you never know what you might find. At any rate, uh, I'll put the winner on the next, on the next video and we'll talk about it and then we'll have another challenge. So we'll see you on the flip side.